What's up guys? Welcome to our Baboon to the Moon Go Bag Mini Review. During this review, I'm gonna pack this bag out and show you everything you can fit in it. I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons, and then at the end of the review, I'm even gonna give some alternative recommendations just in case this isn't the bag for you. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into the gist of the Baboon to the Moon Go Bag Mini. Baboon to the Moon's mission is to make life more colorful, and colorful they are. This is a versatile bag with a unique look. It could be a beach bag, it could be a weekend road trip travel bag, Bag. It's got super durable waterproof materials. It can go from backpack mode to duffel mode. And it's got this really cool no dangle system. This is a 32 liter, but they also have a 40 and a 60. And they have tons of different options of bags. And for reference, this is what it looks like on me strutting my stuff through the streets of Hong Kong. And I am five foot two. It comes in at 3.2 pounds. There are so many color options. They're always changing. They're always bright and really fun colors. It comes with a lifetime warranty and this bag is going to cost you around 170 US dollars and if you're watching this and you're like damn that's a cool color and you want to make a purchase we do ask that you use the link in the description below it's just gonna offer you the best price for this bag gonna offer any discount codes that we have going on and it's always gonna show love to the nomads nation YouTube channel which we greatly appreciate thank you very much let's get into the outside of the baboon to the moon go bag mini so we got this really durable and really lightweight materials it kind of feels like a tarpaulin so it's gonna be extremely weather resistant I mean water is just gonna bounce off this you can literally make a little pool, water go in there, it's gonna sit on top, you can just splash it right off, like no water is getting in here. But because of that material, it does kind of crinkle and dent a bit easier, so if the bag is not fully packed out, it might have some dents in it, but if the bag is really packed out, it's just gonna have that nice sleekness to it. Personally, I love it. I love the branding. I love that it's a different color than the bag. I love that the zippers are different colors. And basically you got one quick access pocket. It's right on the side here. I would put anything that you need quick access to or anything conveniently because there's no other pockets here. So anything else that you need, you're gonna have to go into the main compartment to get. So you could put your wallet in there, your AirPods in there, anything little that you need really quick. But if you will notice, there are no water bottle holders on this bag. And if that's a deal breaker for you, I was like, like, I kind of want to put my water bottle in here. So I tested my 17 ounce bottle and it just fit. So you can't really fit a bigger water bottle, but it's a nice option to have if you've got a small one. And for handles, we got one top and two sides. There's not much padding to them, but they're not really stiff. So they are a lot easier to grab and to move around. And then we got these two side handles because this baby goes from backpack mode to duffel mode, which for me personally is my favorite. So first we got backpack mode. For the back panel, we've got nothing, literally no padding whatsoever. That is the bottom of the bag. So if you're packing something a little bulkier, that's going to be popping out of the back if you're wearing it in backpack mode. So just something to be aware of. And for straps, they're nice, they're light, minimal padding. Materials are nice, they're soft, they're not gonna rub against your shoulders. They're not super thick, they bend a lot. For the comfort, it's pretty average. But my favorite part about backpack mode is if you need to adjust it up top or at the bottom to make it fit tighter or a little looser, say you wear it as tight as it can go, you got dangles, right? No one really likes dangles, they're annoying. But you got this cool little system where on the end of it, you got this little clip and you can just clip that into the top here and it eliminates that dangle. For me, I'm smaller, so I like my backpacks really tight, so I'm gonna have a little bit of excess hanging here, but I'd rather have it up here than dangling and hitting me in the legs. But if you don't wear it as tight and you wear it a little looser, you're not gonna have that excess and it's just gonna fit nicely, not gonna have dangle, and I actually think it's really cool. But if you are not feeling backpack mode at all and you're like, I wanna see duff mode, I got you. What you're gonna do is at the top, you are going to, you're just gonna push down really hard until you heard, hear that click noise. Sometimes it's kind of annoying, sometimes it doesn't work and you gotta do it a few times. And if you have nails, it's a little annoying as well. You're gonna take out from the top, take out from the top. Do the same thing for the bottom, push down. There we go. Straps, gone. And now you just got that clean back and you can go into duffel mode. You can hold it from the top, from the side, you can hold it from both sides. Personally, I prefer duffel mode a little bit more. 
I think it suits the style more because in backpack mode, it kind of looks like a little bit of an astronaut pack because it's so boxy, but it is your personal preference for whatever style that you like. But let's see how much we can fit inside of it. Let's get into the inside of the Baboon to the Moon Go Bag Mini. All right, normally to get into a main compartment, you would access it in the middle. wrong -o. You're gonna access it from the back. So just find those beautiful coral zippers. You got big old YKK zips for the main compartment and these really nice big chunky zipper pullers. And you open it up and you guessed it. Yet again, another color for the interior. We got a bright yellow, quite blinding actually. It's <laughs> Very bright. As you can see, don't really have a lot of organization on the inside. You've got a big mesh pocket up top. You've got a smaller mesh pocket here, and then sort of just like a mesh pocket flap on the other side. So let's say I was gonna take this bag with me to a beach destination I was going for a weekend. Let's say Mexico, Costa Rica maybe. I would pack it out with a couple packing cubes, because obviously packing cubes for the win. These are Tortuga. They just offer so much more space and organization when you have a really minimalist main compartment. Another packing cube. I'm gonna throw a jacket in one, a big old thick book. And then I'm gonna throw my dop kit in right on top. And then those side pockets, they're a little bit harder to get to now that it's kind of packed out. But I might bring an extra day bag with me. This is the Air Go Sling 2. I like it because it's compressible, so I could fold it up and put it in one of these side pockets. And then in the other side pocket, I'm gonna put this universal adapter and a portable charger. Zip that up. Then for the front flap, we just got a big old mesh pocket, no organization, but we got a nice little key leash. I'm gonna put my keys on it. Perfect. And then since you don't got any form of organization in here, I'm just gonna throw my little things in here. I'm gonna throw my wallet, my passport holder, my charger, zip that up. And that is the main compartment. Let's see if we can close it up. And there we go. This is what it looks like all packed out. As you can see, the front definitely looks better than when it wasn't packed out, a lot smoother. But again, with the back, I put my dop kit right on top and it's sticking out. So if you are wearing this in backpack mode, since there's no back panel, that's just gonna be digging into your back. And I wouldn't say that that is the comfiest. There is one other thing that I need to preface is that there is no laptop compartment. That can definitely be a red flag for a lot of people, but this isn't really a highly technical backpack. I think it's definitely more just for a fun little weekend trip that doesn't require a lot of functionality. With all things considered, I got some pros and some cons of this bag. Let's get into the pros and the cons of the Baboon to the Moon Go Bag Mini. For my pros, pro number one, obviously it's gonna be its really unique style and its plethora of color options. And pro number two are gonna be those really, really durable and water resistant materials. But for my cons, con number one is gonna be that lack of comfort. And con number two is gonna be the price. I feel like you should get a little bit more value out of a bag that's 160. And if you've weighed the pros and the cons and all you want is this colorful bag in your hands, we do ask that if you wanna make a purchase that you use the link in the description below. Thank you very much. But if you are not feeling this bag at all and you wanna see some other options, I got some alternatives. I've got a few different alternative recommendations that could suit other people's needs. And to learn more about these bags, you can check the description below. But my number one alternative recommendation is gonna be the Able Carry Max. This is gonna be for you if you're looking for a travel bag around the same size, but you just need way more features like quick access and a laptop compartment, but you still need super durable weather resistant materials. I think this is gonna be the bag for you. And to learn more about this bag, you can go ahead and watch this video right here. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. My name is Marissa, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll see you next time.